Good morning, masterminds. Welcome to another vlog. Just a regular vlog. No work vlog today. Uh, today is a very special day for me because as a James Bond fan, I get to go watch an advanced screening of No Time to Die in IMAX. <laughs> I'll be going to the movie theaters, the cinema, after so long, I think the last movie I watched in the cinema is uh, Joker, November 2019. I have no time to die. I have no time to live. <laughs> um, yeah, the movie's gonna be two hours, 43 minutes. That's long. I haven't uh, read any reviews. I've kept away from any spoilers. I've only seen the trailers, etc. Um, I haven't even listened to uh, Billy Eilish's song, title title song. Um, so I'm going into the movie uh, with with a blank slate. Although I. I well, I've heard that the movie is polarizing, um, so I'm I'm ready to uh, see what the what they've done to Bond. <laughs> I'll be going to the cinema, the movie theater that I watched Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, and Skyfall at. Um, I remember watching. Casino Royale, opening night, back in November 2006. Um, amazing experience. Daniel Craig won me over in the pre-title sequence when that gun barrel happened. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> uh, <laughs> taken away. Um, Quantum of Solace, I saw that opening weekend. I think once, like I met in a showing with my mom, and then I think it was later that same day on Saturday, went with my siblings. Um, I only saw Casino Royale once in the theater, sadly. Skyfall I saw twice. Again, one of them a matinee, another with uh, a friend. Opening weekend. Spectre, I was down in Irvine. I watched it at the University Town Center movie theater, and then I saw it in IMAX at uh, Irvine Spectrum. Yeah. But I'm excited. One shift later. I've got no time to waste here, people. I'm trying to get in the movie theater. But I'm on my way home first to get a jacket, get nourished, um, and to Take or do a number or a double or two. <laughs> Whoopee. October 5th is Global James Bond Day. Today is October 7th. 10 07. Oh, <gasps> One hour later. light. Sorry you can't see me. Um, from what I checked online, uh, I think this auditorium will only be like an eighth full tonight. Sad, but yeah, that's distraction. The thrill of it, but also the potential in every scene. There's been a kind of through line through the movies, and I think that that's been really interesting to try and wrap up those threads. But there's so much more going on in the film. 
Thousands of tears later. Hello, masterminds. I just got home from the cinema. Now I'm gonna give my initial thoughts on the movie. So, spoiler alert. Um, I cried. Because <laughs> James Bond dies in the movie. And it was really sad because he left behind a family. A daughter, even. <laughs> but the movie was uh, very good, in, in my opinion. I, uh, I like the pacing. The two hours, 43 minutes just did not feel long. <laughs> It was just right. Um, there's a lot of nostalgic moments in the movie. Um, really nice uh, action, excellent. Like some moments were brutal. Um, so I was like, oh. uh, minim minim uh, minimal gadgetry, but. That's just a hallmark of the Daniel Craig era. Uh, Bond woman? Yeah. I liked Paloma. <laughs> She's very cool. Very... Um, very r relatable. Yeah. I liked her nervousness. <laughs> I was nervous going in, into the movie. Anxious. Um, Mm. A lot of uh, plot points from the previous four films of Daniel Craig's Bond uh, were, were wrapped up in this film, so the finality of the of it, of this movie, um, yeah, it's there. Um, music, I like. Yeah, Hans Zimmer did an excellent job. I liked Billie Eilish's. Uh, title track, title song for the movie. Um, what else? Cars? Yeah. Th those are the guys. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Nice cars. Um, the Bond formula is there. All the boxes are, were checked off, basically. Um, I don't really mind that they killed him off. It was really emotional. Very touching. <laughs> I just want to thank Daniel Craig and I wish him a farewell. Excellent bond. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad. Regarding the villains, Safin is uh, creepy. 
and cold. It was cold in the theater. Um, <laughs> so anytime he was on screen, I just associate him with cold. <laughs> yeah, just very, just, just evil. Just like, just want to be done with him because <laughs> when when uh, when James Bond kills him, like. Like, yeah, good riddance. Play the villain perfectly. Someone you want to hate gets what he deserves. But, um... It's the villain that just... causes tragedy. <laughs> Unrelenting tragedy. Um... Henchman, good. Blofeld, Spectre. They get wrapped up in this movie. Bluffold gets killed along with all his Spectre agents. Um, Nomi, 007, N not not a villain. She uh, she. I'm glad she wasn't like uh, taking up the spotlight. Yeah, but. She, she was still very respectful in the end to James Bond. She gave the code name 007. Not, not James Bond. <laughs> James Bond is not a code name. She gave uh, her, uh, her number back. Or 007 back to James Bond. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she's, she's not a villain in my book. What else can I say? <laughs> I, I'm likely gonna go watch the movie again in theaters. Um, I'm thinking of uh, doing a private screening. It would cost $199, excluding uh, any chargeables they would add on tax, etc. Um, that would feel really cold being alone in a movie theater <laughs> watching by myself. Jeez. I really liked how the theme of trust came into play in this movie. Um, that's why I loved Casino Royale. Um, I enjoyed the the love in the in the movie. Made me uh made, made me want to uh, love the people important to me even more. Cause uh, the loss is so tragic. Felix dies. Um, the, uh, Bond's team, they, uh, they toast to, uh, the James Bond at the end, <laughs> to 007, good scotch, for the money, <laughs> um, I should. I'll drink my more. My favorite scotch. It's James Bond. Oh, yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> well, this movie definitely changed everything. Finality. The James Bond will return. It was at the end of the credits. James Bond will return. Reboot time. If you think 
if you think of it. <laughs> it's working already. Um, the James Bond franchise has uh, several timelines. You can kind of think of Sean Connery, George Lazenby, and Roger Moore as one continuous timeline. Timothy Dalton and Pierce Brosnan are another timeline. Daniel Craig has his own timeline. But I'm, I think, I think the, uh, the franchise still has plenty ahead of it. James Bond is not finished. Before I end the vlog, I'm going to play the James Bond theme to honor Daniel Craig, who I think has earned the title best Bond doctor, objectively, at this point. Okie dokie masterminds, I will see you by October 10th. Alright, alright. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, be smart for your heart.